What's going on guys? Welcome back to Blues Fans TV. Welcome to your official review for Chelsea 2, Tottenham 1. And after that awful result against Manchester United, we asked for some change. We asked for something different from this Chelsea side. And guys, we saw it. First off, credit to Frank Lampard because he has had his criticism and some has been fairly deserved. But Lampard is doing well with a lot of hindrances to what he's had at the start of the season compared to other managers. Like we've already said, he had the transfer ban. He, had, he asked for additions in January and he didn't get it. He still has had to deal with a Chelsea team that's trying to survive without Eden Hazard. And we're still in this top four race and we're still crawling through with results like this. And R Lampard produced a tactical masterclass today exactly like he did in the reverse fixture. He played five at the back and the five at the back was perfect. It gave us defensive solidity for one. That's the first thing. I think the entire back three was brilliant. Credit to Andreas Christensen as well, because I think he's shown a lot of gut this week. First off, the news about him going straight to Milan after the broken nose, just to get that mask. And I don't know what it is with Chelsea players and masks, but they produce some bad boy performances in those masks. Christensen, yet again, brilliant performance. And I know Christensen has been a player that's got a lot of stick this season. Christensen has been starting to show up and this is not his first good performance for us and especially not his first good performance recently. The two in midfield, Jorginho and Kovacic were brilliant. Ross Barkley, you know, he had a decent performance. I will say, I feel like what he wanted to do didn't translate to his feet at times, but I'm not saying he had a great game. From the performances we've seen from him this season, this was a great performance. He broke in between the lines well. You can see what he's trying to do for most, for most parts. And he was finding himself in space a lot of the time. So Ross Barkley, he had a brilliant performance today. Mason Mount as well. He's come into question because of his technique and because of inconsistencies as well. Today, he showed exactly why he usually starts for us. His, his game off the ball is mad. The guy never stops running. Even when the guy was injured in parts of the second half, he's still chasing down Tottenham players. And Tottenham, they came in today and they didn't even look like they had a game plan. First off, I want to say, how must you Tottenham fans be feeling after all those years of beautiful Pochettino football and you lot laughing at us because we played Park the Bus football with Jose Mourinho. And now you came to a bridge with Mourinho playing the same damn football. Hoofborn, inshallah, from Olderwara, than Vertonghen for 90 minutes straight and it led to nothing. You lot had nothing in attack. You lot had nothing at the front. You man were moving like stick men for 90 minutes. You're a shit club and you collected your yearly L from Stamford Bridge. Congratulations. Frank Lampard is doing the best with what he had, but honestly, today is exactly the sort of result that we needed after that result against Manchester United. But here's the, here's the thing. These games are coming thick and fast and it's Bayern Munich next. Personally, I wouldn't mind us sticking with this three, with this three or five at the back of formation because it is working for us against the better teams and Bayern are going to pepper us. Regardless of how we think the game's going to go down, Bayern are going to pepper us and we need to think of defensive solidity first and try to break through there. The one thing we need to go into Tuesday is just to not concede. Try not to give Bayern any away goals. Don't even mind if it's a nil-nil. Just hold the defence and make the defence solid. If we go five at the back, that's perfect. But guys... This is your review for Chelsea 2, Tottenham 1. Brilliant performance for the boys. I didn't even say anything about Olivier Giroud. Olivier Giroud showed exactly why this guy needs more minutes. The guy shows exactly... He, his off-the-ball move... No, not off, not off the ball move. The shit he does outside the box is exactly why this guy needs more game time. The ball goes straight to him from the goal kicks. He's the guy that's going to chest it down and he's going to bring the wingers into play. And Olivier Giroud brings the best out of the players around him and it showed today and that's exactly why Olivier Giroud needs more minutes. But guys, this is your official review for Chelsea 2, Tottenham 1. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Blues Fan TV and if you're a Tottenham fan, it's fucking peak for you. It happens again. Up the Chelsea. <laughs>